Hey folks, welcome to Concept. A lot of us, we actually are right on our forecasts a lot of times. But still, the option trading strategies that we deploy, they didn't give us significant returns. It is because of the option mechanism. So, a lot of other variables other than just the underlying price are affecting our option premium. But manually to do the meticulous calculations is an impossible task, right? But at the same time, doing those calculations is essential because only forming a view may not make us many in options. So that is the reason we will have to go ahead and analyze our option trading strategies before we deploy them. Obviously, if I am creating a trade and after creating the trade, there is no point in analyze that, analyzing that. But before initiating the trade, this exercise is necessary. So we will learn about the architect analytic in the application, which will help us in building the best option trading strategy, which can take a lot more rather than just the impact of underlying price. That means our strategy should take impact of time. It should take impact of implied volatility. Still, it should be able to make us money, right? So that it becomes more like a bulletproof option trading strategy. Obviously, in every option trading strategy, there would be loss at some given point, but how to minimize this loss is what we will learn using the options architect. So options architect is free analytic for everybody who has signed up with Quanta. Obviously, few of the features in uh, architect are under paid subscription, but however, the essential part through which we can check if the strategy is feasible enough to deploy that part is absolutely free so all of you can click on the link in the description box below and sign up to consa and uh, you can access tools such as architect which are essential for our trading first things first select the desired instrument let's say nifty now let's say i am bullish on nifty okay so a long con okay over here we will get to see the payoff along with the options open interest as well the green color bars are showing us call options open interest and the red color bars are showing us put options open interest now this line okay so the red line over here it is showing us target now let's say if i'm bullish on nifty and if i'm expecting market to go at uh, 19800 okay so if you see the green line the target level it got it, it moved ahead a bit right so it's basically try, trying to show us that if this is my target, how much profit or loss we will end up making in this option trading strategy. Okay. Now, if I want to just hide, I can just hide the options open interest. Now, if you see market goes at 19,830 by expiry, by the way, for this strategy, the expiry is tomorrow itself. So still this strategy will end up giving us roughly 3,700 rupees. So now the idea is that if market right now, which is at uh, 19,700, okay, roughly 19,720 to be precise. If market gives a hundred points up move from here, I am safe in this strategy. The strategy is good to go. The strategy will end up giving me money. But let's say if market moves up by just 30 points or 40 points, then this strategy will not make any sense. I'm considering my viewpoint is still expiry, but this strategy won't make any sense. Why? Because I'm not making anything. Eventually, I'll, I'll end up paying brokerage and I'll end up taking unnecessary risk. So this is the first thing. So we will learn how can we go ahead and get rid about that. Apart from that, always understand the Greeks. Okay, if, if not to go ahead and understand the uh, higher order Greeks, but at least understand the Delta, Theta and Vega. Okay, these are most important factors of your option trading strategy because this, this will determine if you end up making money in a strategy or not. Now, if you see Delta, it's trying to show 27. That means, and this is positional Delta by the way. So the Delta over here is getting multiplied by the lot size. Now the Theta is roughly 1000 rupees. It is trying to say that if there is no movement uh, happening in the market, 1000 rupees will be taken away from the premium or from the strategy of time okay the time will take away it's thousand rupees vega it's a vega positive strategy that means you are expecting some kind of fault or some kind of rise to happen in the implied volatility so this is a vega positive strategy now one more thing over here is i can add my leg okay and let's say i'll convert this to put and i'm deleting the first leg okay so let's say this i'm deleting it 
19700 so now this is the long put now this is uh, again a long put a bearish strategy over here again i can move ahead uh, move behind or ahead uh, my target level now over here if you see the vega is 200 positive that means if the iv goes up this strategy will give us more money why it will give me more money because of the vega factor and generally there is a negative correlation which exist in nifty and the implied volatility right that means if the india wax or implied volatility if it goes down generally the market moves up and generally whenever the implied volatility or the india wax okay if it moves up the market generally goes down so if i'm having a bearish view on the market for tomorrow right then this strategy will make a lot of sense why because the vega is positive however the theta is negative we will come to that but the vega is over uh, vega is positive over here so the directional impact the directional benefit i'll get that is for sure but i'll also get the benefit of vega in this strategy apart from that if i just want to get rid of theta how how do i go ahead and do it is basically i will just go ahead and sell a put option wherever my target is let's say 19000 or 19600 ka put okay i'll sell it so this is bear put spread so whatever strategy you create if it is amongst the popular strategies then we will get to see the strategy name as well so this is a bearish strategy over here you will get to see on what level how much pnl we might end up making in the strategy also this being vega positive strategy only the theta was roughly around 1000 if you see 1 lakh theta it is roughly around 1000 we managed to reduce it to 300 rupees right still we are losing theta but it is relatively very less as compared to what we had built earlier which was a long put also we are getting a marginal benefit of vega as well it is not very impactful but however still it is giving us some benefit some extra cushion in this option trading strategy also we can see uh, how uh, you know the spread the net spread is moving and we can plot any of the indicator if i just want to see underlying versus the spread how the underlying is moving and how the spread price is moving right so if you see it is giving us profit as the underlying has collapsed now why it is happening it is happening because of the strategy that we have created it is a bear put spread we can plot uh, implied uh, the delta theta vega gamma right the higher order greeks as well and apart from that we can also try out something like uh, credit spreads if uh, you know that makes sense so for that credit spread would be a bull put spread okay so over here the different thing is just observe the legs what we have done we have sold 19750 put okay and we have bought 19700 put okay so let's make it 19600 so this is a bullish strategy but using put options benefit of doing this is it when we do it closer to the expiry the theta becomes positive generally but vega is slightly negative so one of the greek will affect us but if you see the theta that we were losing if we do something like this still this will give us a defined loss over here again we are not facing an undefined loss but still we are theta positive and at the same time i am not losing a very big chunk to vega so something like this something like credit spreads can be also practiced when we are a bit closer to the expiry so do check out architect analyze your various option trading strategies over here in option architect